All right, welcome everybody to a special episode of a special issue that I've been having with my particular hard drive. Um, as you all know, I try to make videos uh, as often as I can here. And one of the things I've been noticing of my secondary hard drive, as you can see, there are three hard drives, C, D, and F. I have two hard drives that are with my PC, C, and D. And D, for some reason, is a one terabyte hard drive. And I only have 127 gigabytes free. Now, if I go to the storage settings, instead of Windows Explorer here, uh, this is gonna be C, but I'm gonna show you what it's gonna look like. So C is a fairly small, it's like 250 gigs. It's a solid state hard drive. It's basically where our, my operating system is running. But D is a one terabyte and there's only 127 gigabytes free. Total usable space is 931. Of course, there's certain stuff that's used by, you know, software or firmware that comes with, ex with the hard drive. But if you look at the four folders that are here, they don't even add up to 10 gigabytes. And it says 473 gigabytes are being used. That is what's scaring me right now is I don't know what's occupying the 473 gigabytes. So if I go into Windows Explorer and I look at all these files that are there, it only occupies a total of 63.9 gigabytes. It still doesn't match the 473 gigabytes that are being used by these folders. So this is really strange. 63.9 gigabytes, 473 what is going on? This this is very strange. I don't know what it's measuring. It seems like there's hidden files, but under my view, there is no, I'm viewing all of the hidden files. So one of the things I found out was about the system restore and protection. And the system protect, store and protection, they tend to hit save restore points on your hard drives. Now, as you can see, volume, so we're gonna go into volume C first. Volume C is only using 2% as a threshold. And I'm thinking, should I shrink it to one? Maybe not. I'll keep it at 2%. I'm not gonna apply. I think 2% is fine. But D is off. C is supposed to be the backup system. And holy moly, it's 30%, 279 gigabytes. And it's already used 236.51 gigabytes. So I'm gonna delete whatever they had so that will get rid of at least over 200 gigs of restore points memory that is being used. I'm going to allocate 1%, which gives another about 9 gigs of space, which I think it's enough for restoring, for restoration points. But that's ridiculous. It's already used 236, and it was allocated 300 some gigabytes. And it's still deleting. This is a lot of stuff that they have saved on this hard drive, which I can't even see. I couldn't see the files for System Restore. This is ridiculous. So apparently, whenever we're using Windows 10, it doesn't tell us about this until we see the problem. So I'm going to hit Apply. I'm going to apply the 1% threshold. I'm going to allocate 10 gigabytes on this hard drive, even though it was turned off, protection is turned off, it's not supposed to use this hard drive. So in my standard C drive, I have two gigs, 2% 2 used. So now I'm gonna go back and see now I have 376 gigabytes of free space now. So that 200 and what, 230 was used, I'm gonna refresh this uh, how do I, I think I have to go to the bottom to refresh. So I want to refresh this. Now it's down to 461. But these drives still don't add up to 461 used space, which is really interesting. I don't know what else is in these folders. I've moved all my videos back onto my F drive, which is an external hard drive. So I did some digging online and I found out that some people use a third party software called WinDirect Stat. And this allows you to view things that even Microsoft Windows, when you say show hidden files and hidden extensions, do not show. 
So I'm I'm going to have to install this and figure out what's still occupying about 470 some gigs of stuff. And let me see if I can find the download place. Latest installer, okay. Currently version 1.1.2. Uh, this just takes me back to the main site. So it should be this one then. That's the source code. So this is an open source software, I think. It's completely free. I'm just gonna download this, install it. I'm gonna save it onto my desktop. And then I'm gonna launch it, install it, accept terms, okay. Yes, you can do a start menu and a shortcut. I don't think I need any of the other languages. And I don't have Windows 95, 98 or Millennium, so it should be fine. We're gonna install this, hit next, launch it. Let's see what we got. Okay, so now I can map all three of my hard drives. I wanna look at D. I want to look at an individual drive. Hang on. That's what the installed desktop icon looks like. Uh, it says on the forums it's best to run it as an administrator. So running it as an administrator now, I want to look at D. I'll check, back, check it, see later, but I want to look at D. I want to see what exactly is going on with D? Because I can't see it with the regular Windows. So here is the breakdown. Okay, so the desktop, the desktop folder, that is my computer's name. And that is uh, occupying 263.2 gigabytes. 47.5%. What is all up in here? Look at this backup set. Oh my God, and they operate, they occupy quite a lot. 54.3 gigabytes for the biggest one. Timed on November 17, 2019 as a backup storing point. 54.3 gigabytes. Next one's 48.4. And there are so many. I don't need this many backups storing points. I have a Windows image backup. This one is the one I think I created. I created this when I first got the PC. Look at all these backup sets. That is insane. All the way to 2018 of December. I don't really think I need all these. And I just realized none of these are actually sorted by date completely. I mean, I have February and March that comes before October, September, and then it's May, June, August, and then it's March, April, and then it's December of 2018. These files are huge. So I'm gonna I'm gonna start deleting some of these backup sets. I think I only need three, to be honest. And probably three of the most latest. I don't need the older ones. But the newest ones are the ones that really are occupying quite a bit of space. So I'm surprised I can't actually see these backup sets in regular Window Explorer. I can only see it here in WinDirect stat which is very strange. I don't know why Windows doesn't want you to see this, especially the fact they set a threshold. I'm only gonna keep three. I think three backup sets is good enough for me. I don't really need it. And now I'm at 516. 516, half of my hard drive is now officially back. Back in operation that I can actually use. So now it only occupies 29% of the hard drive, about 30%, and it's only 123 gigabytes now. So yeah, I hope this helps uh, anyone who's also having this experience. Um, it's a terrible position to be in because apparently none of us can actually see what's being occupied with a regular Windows Explorer, even when you have 
when you even when you go into view tab and then you go to advanced options and you select see hidden files it doesn't show up so we have to download this thing called WinDirect stat I actually read multiple forums about this and finally I was able to figure it out so I just want to say thank you for watching I hope this helps in case you're also in a position where you're using any of the Windows operating systems and you're realizing that your hard drive space is just incrementally decreasing for free space and your usage space is increasing and when you check into your Windows Explorer or even into storage settings you can't figure out what's occupying it well now you know um, it's the backup restore points apparently they like to occupy a whole lot of your hard drive if you don't manage it uh, now you know where to go uh, into system protection um, under properties of my PC or window explorer of this PC and then from there make sure you set your threshold one to two percent because nowadays everybody's hard drive is fairly large at least you know 100 200 uh, at least like 100 or 200 gigs so you can set a one to two percent and that should be good enough I mean honestly if you allot somewhere between like two three gigs to max 10 gigs you're you're good to go you don't need any more at all so I hope this video was helpful thank you for watching stay tuned we upload weekly um, and thanks again for watching don't forget to subscribe hit the thumbs up button and leave a comment uh, if this solution worked out for you if not uh, if you have a better solution also put it in the comments and share your link and sources much appreciated and see you guys next time